Screen mirroring your iPhone, any iPhone by the way, it doesn't matter what iPhone you have, screen mirroring any iPhone to your desktop, Windows computer. Completely free, it's wireless and it's lag free and the best part is app, it's absolutely HD as well. You can do tons on this, you can even use your camera as you can see right now. I can, let me just take a photo of myself and you can actually see it's really smooth, really responsive and it's HD as well. You can go full screen as well, you can actually uh, make the app full screen so let me just do that let me just click on the full screen tab right there see you can zoom in if you want to you can go full screen it doesn't matter how big your screen is if it supports the resolution it will go full screen so don't worry about that you can do tons on this you can even play games if you want to so there you go i just opened up clash of clans and you can see it's actually going pretty smoothly i used to play tons of clash of clans i don't do that anymore i don't know why but yeah, I mean you can you get the idea, right? You could you could do tons on this. It's absolutely lag free as well. So pretty awesome, right? Yeah, keep watching the video and I'll show you how you can screen mirror your iPhone to your Windows computer. Let's dive in. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. Today's video, we you just saw it by the way. We are screen mirroring iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your computer PC, completely free and it's wireless. And the best part is that it only takes one single click and that is pretty much it. So I'm not gonna talk much, let's just dive right into it. All right, so before we actually jump into the video, we have, we need to do a couple of things before we actually screen mirror the iPhone to your Windows PC. So the first one is gonna be the app that we're gonna be using. So go to the Play Store and download an app called AirDroid Cast. By the way, don't worry about it. All the links will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. So everything is free as I've said before, so just download the AirDroid Cast. It's a screen mirroring app that lets you screen mirror your iPhone to your Windows PC or a laptop. So just download that, it's completely free. Second up is gonna be the AirDroid on your Windows PC. So go to the uh, link in the, in the description box below, download the AirDroid Cast on your Windows PC, completely free by the way. Again, you don't have to pay for anything. So as you can see, the download is really simple and you need to install it. The installation is really simple on its own. You really don't need to do anything. Just follow the steps, follow the on-screen uh, on screen instructions. Really simple. Once the installation is done, you can actually launch the uh, AirDroid if you want to, or you can just double click from the desktop. It will be on your desktop right there. Once you launch the app on your uh, Windows PC or your laptop, it doesn't matter, you would see a barcode and an actual code right below the barcode. So don't worry about it, it's nothing complicated, okay? We're gonna be using that. We have two different options now. We have the barcode and we have the actual code, which I'll show you in a minute. So what you wanna do is to open the AirDroid Cast on your iPhone. Once you open the app, just give all the necessary permissions. As you can see, it's asking for a microphone if you want the audio. I don't want the notifications, so don't do that. Let me just exit, oh, now. So you have two different options as I said before. You can actually manually enter the code right there. You can type in the code if you want to. But if you if you look and if you look at the at the top, you have a barcode. You can scan the barcode if you want to, which is really fast by the way. So just click on the camera icon, allow the camera and and we'll ask for it to scan the barcode. It's really fast by the way. Look at this. I didn't even look at it and it's just scanned it. So I'm just going to do it again just for the sake of this video. So what you want to do is just click the scanner option. You can see scanning and right there, bam, we are in. By the way, it will ask you the permission, it will ask you for the permission on your desktop computer. So what you wanna do is click okay. And once you do that, just give a couple seconds. It's gonna ask you to uh, allow the network. So yeah, by the way, make sure the iPhone is connected to the exact same network. Then what you wanna do is start on the start broadcast button. And again, you need to press the start broadcast button one more time. It's really important. Now, wait a couple seconds and we should be connected right there, see? And we are connected. By the way, it's optimizing the screen as you can see it on the desktop computer. Basically, it's actually making the stream more HD and smoother. So there's no lag and there's nothing in there. It's pretty awesome the way it works. You can do tons on this, by the way. As I've showed you before, you have tons of great options you can do this. You can use your camera if you want to. So let me just take a simple photo by the way, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the video. If this, if you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's going to help me a lot, a lot. And there you go. That's me. I just took a photo of myself and I'm just going to open the photo. You can actually go full screen if you want to. That would go, that would make, that would make the screen go full screen as well. But you can actually manually go to, uh, go to the full screen as well. If you look at the top, you can see it. There is a full screen option right there. Just click on that and it, it is connected. So 
If the screen on your iPhone supports that big screen, it will go full screens. Don't worry about that. Right now, let me just open the, uh, let me just enable the auto rotate and you can see it is connected. By the way, don't worry about it. Yours, yours will be full screen. Right now, I'm using a really, really big ultra wide monitor, but that's why it's actually 16 by nine in the ratio. But don't worry about it. It should be on, it should be full screen on your computer. It's not on mine, but it will be full screen, full screen on your computer. So pretty awesome. You can play music. You can play games if you want to. Let me just open up Clash of Clans so you can just, you can see and you can actually play games right there. So just give it a couple of seconds. I used to play tons of Clash of Clans back in the day. I don't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, just give it a couple of seconds. It will actually smooth up the screen depending on what application you're using. In this case, the uh, game is actually running on 120 frames per second because of the screen. Uh, uh, the screen hurts obviously so it just it will take a couple of seconds to actually smooth things out so be sure to wait a couple of seconds before you play any game or anything like that so just for the example it is pretty awesome so yeah and by the way see it's back to 60 hertz because the i'm not playing any game so it doesn't have to be that quick so yeah pretty awesome the way it works and i hope you enjoyed the video by the way that you stop it if you have a dynamic island you can just click on it and you can click stop or if you don't want to do that, you can go back to control center and you can stop the recording option right there. That's that's pretty much it. And it will automatically stop it on the PC as well as you can see right there. And if you want to do it again, you have to go to the app again. Click on start broadcast. Once again, you have to follow the steps once more and then start broadcast again. And it should be connected given one, two, three, four, five, five seconds. It took about five seconds right there. Pretty awesome, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That's pretty much it for the video. Be sure to subscribe if you find this video helpful. And I'm Riz, and I'll catch you in the next one. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. All right, so that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will get back to you ASAP, okay? Do not worry about that. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe. That's gonna help the channel a lot, a lot. So be sure to subscribe, okay? I'm Riz, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.